Welcome back. Um, so in this section, what we're going to do is add some tooltips to content. Tooltips are really useful um, elements that will give you additional content over um, uh, w when the user mouses over certain text, which is highlighted in the body of the, of the content. So it's a really useful way of adding in things like glossaries or additional information. Um, I'll show you an example before we start. If we go to Get Bootstrap, and we go to JavaScript. Now, we are going to write one line of JavaScript, I have to tell you, in this. Um, but if we go down to Tooltips, and here's some examples of the sorts of things that we're going to create. So you user moves their mouse over a highlighted uh, text, and they'll get some information. You can um, uh, specifically say via left, top, bottom, right. And there are various other options. I won't go into all of the options now. In fact, I'll probably go into very few of them. Um, but um, this is a very quick and easy way of getting tool chips up and running. So let's go back to our code. And we're going to add some tool tips into this top section here, this introductory section, which is about the, the um, um, about the solar system. So, if we just give me a second, um, tool tips. So, what we need to do is find the bit of text that we want to to highlight. So, our first bit of text that we're going to work on is. The, the solar system itself and so we find the solar system and we'll add an, a, a, an anchor a tag around it oops oh I wanted it around the whole solar system not just solar now what we're also going to do is add a couple of attributes to that. So, as you know, an anchor tag normally needs a, um, a, a hypertext reference, um, which is where you would go to if you clicked on the link, because this is just a link being created. And we don't want it to go anywhere, so we're just going to use the hash or the pound sign to say that when this is clicked on, actually, really nothing happens, it doesn't go anywhere. But we also need to have our. Um, our text that's going to appear in the tooltip. And this appears in an attribute called title. So this is the title attribute of our of our link. And in this case the title is going to say it's going to give us some more information. So we're going to say it's a about what I'll do is just go to the Wikipedia page and say um, just copy this bit of text for now and oh, I, I know I realize I'm actually repeating myself here but I just want to show the high, the, the, the the way that a solar system so the, the way that a tooltip works. So I'm going to paste that into our bit of our um, title attribute. The last, the second to last thing that we need is um, to apply a class to um, this um, this anchor this this anchor uh, tag. So this can be absolutely anything at all. So in this case, I'm going to call it solar um, system tool tip. It could be anything at all. So that's our first. Um, we'll just delete that. Uh, that's our first tool tip. We'll just add another tool tip in, and we'll find the. I've got one for the for the asteroid belt, so prepared. 
Let's find the asteroid belt. There we go, the asteroid belt. And I've just copied in there another anchor, href pound or hash, and the title. In this case, it says the asteroid belt is the region of the solar system located between the orbits of the planets Mars and Jupiter. Cool. And the asteroid belt. And we will just close that link down there. So let's save this. Now, what we need to do is add a line of code to initiate this. And we do this right down at the bottom of the page after our code um, references to the uh, Bootstrap and jQuery um, content distribution networks. So we'll add a script. A script. And what we want to do down here is to do work a simple line of, of what's called jQuery, which is a framework um, to enable um, really um, easy uh, use of JavaScript um, and powerful use of JavaScript. Um, this isn't a jQuery tutorial, so we're not going to go into, into this in great detail. In fact, I'm just going to do this in one line of code. Well, actually three lines of code. But, um, first thing that we need to do is to initialize um, JavaScript, uh, sorry, jQuery. And create a function that happens when the page is fully loaded. And that's all, of, all that we need to do. Those two lines, and I've got a space in between because I'm going to write a third line in here. Um, all that means is that once the page is, is fully loaded, anything, any code that I write in here will run. Um, and if you want to have a find out more about jQuery, and I, I recommend it, um, then you can visit jQuery.com to have a look. Uh, so what we're going to do now is initialize our tooltips. So jQuery uses um, the dollar identifier, and it says, all right, I'm going to find um, various elements in the page. And I actually want to find everything with the class and the class is, is uh, identified by, by a dot notation and solar system tooltip. So we find every element in the page. And remember, that's two elements at the moment that we've got. Um, and we find that each of those and we apply to those some, a, a method called tooltip. And that's a method that comes with uh, Bootstrap. And so that, those three lines of, of code are all you need to get um, tooltips running in your page. So let's save this. And let's see whether it is really working. So now if we re 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 reload this, you can see we've got two anchors. We've got a solar system and we've got a, an asteroid belt. And if I mouse over, I can see that I've got a tooltip. Ah, but I've not got a tooltip there. And do you know why? Because if we go up here, I've got the wrong class. So remember, we had a class of solar system tooltip. I needed this class here to be solar system tooltip because down at the bottom we're finding everything that has a class of solar system tooltip and then we're applying the tooltip behavior to it. Let's save that and reload that. And now we have an asteroid belt is a region of the solar system located roughly between the orbits of the planets Mars and Jupiter. And you can do that as many times as you like on the page. You simply need to um, 
wrap the text that you want to do to put to appear around uh, with an anchor and an anchor tag and make sure that, that doesn't point to anywhere that it points to the pound or the hash and make sure it's got the same class as each of the other tags and make sure that it's got a title attribute which is what's going to appear when you mouse over and that's all you need to do uh, to get tooltips to appear in your page okay so that's the first actual line of code that we've written and we will be writing two more lines of code um, where we uh, have to do a similar thing to initiate our tamps and our accordion um, but we're really aiming to keep this extremely simple um, and yet powerful at the same time all right Thanks very much.